Here is an updated how to play for Atomic Space Command. Let's press play. Once you press play, you can either join an existing game. Right now, I'm going to start a game. And uh, let's see, if somebody wants to join you, you can give them your IP address. And they can type it into the Join Game dialog and show up here in the hangar. Let's go ahead and build a new ship. The good ship Lollipop. Lollipop. And I'm going to create that ship. You can have up to four ships now, and you can join any one of the ships. I'm going to go ahead and join the new ship, Lollipop. My friends who uh, come into the hangar with me, they can either make their own ships or they can join the Lollipop. You can pick your team, blue team or red team. And then we're going to pop into the arena. Let's press launch and we'll go into the arena. The arena is a classic capture the flag style game. Uh, I'm going to press M to show you the map. This is me, the blue ship. I've got one blue planet. Here is the red team with their red planet. Press M to close the map. Let's go ahead and pop into the command view and turn on the reactor and let's power up the engines. And since I'm not fighting against anybody else, there's really no point in playing with the blasters and shields. You can do it if you want to, whatever. Pop back to the world view here and grab the helm and WASD around. Uh, pop back to the map view. There's my blue planet behind me. Let's fly away here. So this is an arena. You're trying to capture planets and hold on to them and you're trying to steal planets from the other team. I'm on the blue team. I've already got this blue planet. That's giving me some number of points per second. The more planets you capture, the more points per second you get. The first team to 500 wins. Let's grab some of these planets that aren't claimed yet, and that'll increase our points per second. I'm going to go ahead and overdrive my engines so I can get there a little faster. So this planet's a neutral planet. You can tell because the the bar is sort of halfway between the two. Oh, now that I'm not racing, let me stop overdriving. Uh, and by camping over the planet long enough, I capture it and it shows up as one of my blue planets and I start getting points for it. So now I've got two planets to the one planet of the enemy. Once you've got a planet, you can press build and do things like put turrets down or reactors. Let's put a dome over here. So the more of these you have, the more your planet is worth per second for scores. And with turrets, uh, when an enemy team shows up, then a uh, the planet will defend itself. And now I'm climbing ahead of the red team because they've only got one planet and I have got two planets. I've got this planet and that planet. Let's, uh, let's spin around and grab one more planet, this one over here. Back to uh, the map, back to the command view. Let's overdrive the engine again and fly over here. Actually, let's, let's fly all the way over to the enemy red planet and snag it just to show you how you steal planets from the other team. Space is big, but it sure is pretty. Take a look at that nice sun with all of its swirling vortices of plasma. So okay, let's snag this planet. That was, an, that was a mine over there. Let me just blow it up. Let's go over to this planet and camp out for a minute and snag it for the blue team. And it is ours. Blue team is kicking ass. Red team, not having any players on it, is not doing so great. Let's grab this planet. Oh, you know, my thruster is actually getting hammered here. I think I'm going to stop overdriving it and repair it before it gets totally destroyed. That's taking some parts. Let's fix it up taking a lot of parts. I've got seven parts left, so I'm fine. 
Eventually, you'll be uh, placing stuff on your planets to mine resources and convert them into parts and convert them into fuel, but we haven't done that yet. Let's camp on this planet and claim it, and let's finish up by going over here to the red planet and stealing it from the red team. Alrighty. Hey, red planet. So if they had defenses here, the defenses would be shooting back at me. Or if they had players that were defending the planet, the presence of those defenders would make it much harder for me to uh, camp here and push the bar away from them. But since I'm just playing against nobody, it's pretty easy. And mine. So now red team's got no more points coming in. Blue team's got lots of points coming in. The first team to 500 wins, and I, I think that's probably going to be the blue team.